Thank you, uh, Erica. Um, all right, so we are not allowed to use the word transition nor low carbon society, so I will open this part by saying that we will talk about stimulating opportunities for highly creative and innovative societal dynamics. Okay, those are words I think we can all use in this uh, discussion. We uh, discussed uh, societal issues linked to two themes. First of all, knowledge creation, and second of all, um, the acceptance and acceptability of public uh, policies and societal interventions. And we came up with four uh, elements that can stimulate uh, debate amongst policymakers and stakeholders. Uh, first of all, it is um, the development of policies and technologies to stimulate informational governance. And this is based on the fact that information to citizens, companies and institutions can stimulate behavioral change if provided at the correct moment and on issues that have a direct connection with motivation to change. Let's try to explain this a little bit. Informational governance, the idea is based on uh, the fact that in many of the things we do as citizens, but also as institutions, we actually receive very little information that is related to the transition towards a low carbon society. And if we could inject that sort of information, which can be based on, for example, smart metering or smart monitoring, uh, we could uh, provide uh, impetus uh, towards uh, the low carbon society based on that information, informational governance. Second point, uh, we also discussed trust. If you uh, want public acceptance, you want trust uh, in institutions uh, and in actors. Well, we know from uh, research that there is a problem of trust, especially vis-a-vis uh, -vis public institutions, government institutions, but also towards private companies. Uh, this is a, there is a lot of empirical research on that. Now, we, we would like to say the following. The problem of low trust in public institutions and private companies can be improved through increased transparency and public accountability. How can this be done in the case of low carbon? The use of technologies, methods, and communication, communication is important, about the evolution of the carbon footprint of governments, companies, but also individual citizens can contribute to this. Transparency in the carbon footprint of uh, sectors, of companies, but also of governments and branches of government could be an element there. This can fairly easily be done through policy changes. You can easily demand from a number of actors in society that they disclose uh, their carbon calculations uh, on their institutions. It, it can easily be done. No? Third point, uh, stimulate a transition from private ownership models to service-based models. And transport here is a good example we think we need to stimulate the thinking about a new mobility and transport system in which the car, obviously individually owned car or the car has a role to play. And obviously we need to make that car as carbon neutral as possible. I think of electric mobility as a pathway to think of. But uh, we think this is an example that illustrates the difference between societal system innovation and technological innovation. In other words, the model that is now based on private, mostly private car ownership, you can work on purely technological innovation and make better cars, or you can look for a role of cars in another system of mobility and transport. The two are not the same. We are pleading for the second one, which we call a service-based model. Fourth and last point, um, um, or penultimate point, sorry. The development of creative methodologies and instruments to involve citizens in participatory processes towards the low carbon society as a central element of creating public acceptability. I know that uh, the discourse of participation is uh, at least 30 years old. 
It is embedded in all sorts of agreements and policy statements. And there is a whole set of practices, social practices, that has emerged around this discourse. We uh, are convinced that we need to extend those practices beyond the experimental phase and look at them as an essential element of the transition towards a low carbon society. The fifth point, develop and communicate positive yet realistic images and opportunities embedded in societal change towards a low carbon society. This is the question for uh, positive elements of change and not working from threats and doomsday scenarios, but with the small caveat that uh, positive messages should not blind us from a uh, urgently necessary sense of realism. Voilà. Those were the, the three uh, or five things rather coming out of our group sessions. Thank you.